Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or whatever you're doing out there. I'll tell you what, we're going to add to it. That's what we try to do every single time. And if you like roguelikes and roguelites, I am just delighted that you are here with us because that's all we play every single time. Speaking of awesome roguelikes and roguelites, I am here with one of the newer bullet heavens out there running around out on the streets. This game currently has an overwhelmingly positive rating out on Steam. Isn't that cool? I gotta tell you, it's a blast. I have played a handful of runs here and there, and I have a good time every time. This game is just good, clean fun. It's weird in all the right ways. And my goodness, does it harken back to the days of Dragon Warrior. Just being out there roasting those slimes with your fire spells. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. I want to say a big, gigantic thank you to one of our community members, Louis Pollock for gifting me a copy of Goobies, this game that we are enjoying here. Lewis said, hey, Goat, I want to send you something that has been bringing me a lot of joy lately. And next thing you knew, I had a notification that somebody had sent me the gift of Goobies, which I'll tell you is the gift that just keeps on giving. So thank you so much, Lewis. I have a brand new addiction. It is called Goobies. This game has earned its current review ranking. And I'll tell you what, I don't think a good deed should go out just by itself. I, I think a good deed deserves Another good deed. And so I am happy to tell you that in Lewis's name, this video, the one that you are watching right now, is rated G. You know why? It's rated G for goobies. No, I'm, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. It's the normal thing. It's rated G for giveaway. Folks, we're going to give away two copies of Goobies. And all you need to do is be subscribed and leave a comment. And I'm going to choose two of you to potentially win a copy of Goobies on September 6th. That's it. That's all you have to do. Be subscribed, leave a comment. And you may out be out here very soon, destroying some slimes and creating goo all over your screen. Doesn't that sound nice? My goodness, what a time. So we're gonna have a just tremendously fun run in Goobies today and hopefully be able to show off all the neat stuff you can do in Goobies. And a lot of it has to do with the different upgrades and capabilities that you can find. Because what happens is these abilities start to stack on top of each other. And you can put together these interesting and I'm gonna use the word broken combinations of attacks that just continue to chain off of each other quite beautifully. 
creating just a mess of various goos on your screen. All right, we're gonna go chain projectile. Speaking of chain, and we're just gonna try to continue building on our damage capability and attacks that chain off of each other. Now the game does sport a meta progression tree and uh, there's some good stuff on it. I think that the game does a good job of making you feel powerful, usually around the four minute mark of a run is when things really start to come together. That's been my experience at least. Let's just go with a general damage increase here. Important to keep that up. But usually right around that four minute mark, I've got, you know, some pretty interesting combos going. And then you just continue to build on their strength from there. But then of course that damn horde continues to build upon its strength as well. And everything kind of evens out at some point. So we'll see how we do. I am joined by my esteemed colleague today, as I usually am. A cup of coffee. This is the nitro cold brew that you've heard me talking about for a little bit here. It is pistachio flavored and it's tremendous and I'm trying to drink it enemies have a 2% chance to convert into ghosts upon death for 5 seconds dealing low damage to all nearby enemies uh yes yes it sounds weird and wonderful I'm trying to finish it up because the farmer's market is coming up again and I want to visit the stand because apparently the flavor they're going to have with them is Irish cream. And if they nail the flavor as well as they've nailed the pistachio, I think it's going to be quite good. I'm kind of circling around this boss that's shown up. Uh, when the bosses show up, you take them out. They give you an interesting power-up opportunity that opens up kind of a random wheel of possibilities. And once you grab that, you warp into the next zone. So let's see if we can get through this one making good good progress on this boss I'd say now, the game does sport some different characters as well they all have awesome names you saw a few of those when we were starting up uh, let's see increase your damage movement speed attacks have a 15% chance to conjure one homing goo which seeks out an enemy in range and then exploding in a small radius yes Let's have some homing goo, please. Now occasionally, we'll have the opportunity to grab some additional health. Okay, so we get two times crumbled sapphire, increase your damage by 60% now. Wow, decent. And then a portal is going to begin to expand out. And usually if there's a mini boss type character, because they drop stuff too, I'll kind of like hang out and try and take them out and finish them off. But in this case, we'll just float in. Hmm. Cheers to you out there. Hope you've got something great in your cup. You know, I have a new coffee roaster that I'm looking at making a purchase from, and I'm curious if 
any of you have tried their stuff. Uh, this is Dead Sled Coffee. This sounds good. Attacks have a 20% chance of spawning a row of four spikes, dealing 6.4 damage. Let's do that. The Thousand Needles is really good too, but my thought is, let's just go and grab a, another brand new capability that'll fire off for us. But let me know in the comments if any of you have tried Dead Sled. Thinking about putting an order in with them. Horror movie themed, of course. Uh, the other day they had a ghost face killer blend from Scream, and it had notes of red apple. Seems appropriate, right? All right, was it the greatest run I've ever had? No, but it was a run. Let's show off the opportunities in the meta progression area real quick. So we've got the usuals, right? Then down here, they get really good, but really expensive. That's okay, that's all right. That just means we have to play more. What a punishment. Okay. I would like to play as Wiggle Woogle again. And who knows, if folks want to see more of the game after this video, maybe we'll do some more showing off the other characters. You'll have to let me know. Tell you what I am excited about tonight. I've mentioned in the past that I've got a couple of buddies that I'm... Ooh. Hugging Trees has a chance of releasing a cluster of up to 30 orbs of experience, or we got the Ghost Blobs opportunity. You know what? Let's go Ghost Blobs. It's an interesting power. I'm hoping that the power-up that allows you to shoot multiple projectiles uh, pops up in this run. You just never know on the RNG, right? But I've had some really interesting runs with that power-up. Silly Saucer, Gang 1 Launchable Saucer that deals 6 damage. Uh, or we could go with Goo Garlic which they call the Sonic Howl in this game. Let's do that. Need some goo garlic action, right? Anyway, I have a couple buddies that I've been playing Sons of the Forest with on Fridays. And our one buddy has been out of town. And the last time we played, we kind of got to a point where you know, we think we're at basically the end. We've got the shotgun now. We've got the ability to dig. It's very interesting. And so we're going to get together tonight and possibly finish the fight. We're going to see what, what all happens. I'm very excited. I think that's going to be a good opportunity to get through the rest of this nitro cold brew that I've got. So that I'm ready to refill the glass that it's in. Uh, let's go with the chain projectile again. I like this little zapper that we've got. We'll have to track if it pops up again, how that upgrades. I do think we should get some piercing. That generally works pretty well because you know, as you go on, you saw how thick the horde was getting there. Okay, 
Deal more damage the faster you move. Movement speed, increase your range. Uh, let's go with this Ignite. We'll get some AoE happening out there. Uh, so I think we're going to be finishing Sons of the Forest, which of course is exciting. I am thinking Obliteration. Ah, uh, that sounds interesting. Let's do that. And then over the long weekend, my brother-in-law reached out. He is the one with the Uni Outdoor Pizza Oven. We can load it up with charcoal or wood briquettes. You can get this thing up to 900 degrees. They're not messing around with these unis, let me tell you. All right, so we could go two dizzy balls. I think we're going to do that. Let's get one more dizzy ball. Ooh, that's that's going to get good if we're adding an additional ball every time. Wow. So we're going to get out there and build some pizzas. And we're going to get weird with it like we did last time. Okay, let's see. Your initial attack has a 50% chance to chain up to two. All damage dealt has an additional 10% chance to critical strike. Or we get piercing two times. Uh, let's do the chain. I could see a case for the soft blobs too, but right now let's just work on the the chaining capabilities. The last time we brought the fixings for buffalo chicken pizza, and it was wonderful. Ooh, let's do this slash passive. That sounds pretty good. See, now we've got some things that are going to fire off across a horde that our bullets run into. I'm feeling pretty good about this. See, my brother-in-law is really funny, you know. He he likes the standard pizzas, and if, if I suggest something... something like a... Ooh... Wiggling Worms. Enemies have a 10% chance to release up to one Worms on death, each dealing three damage to all enemies it hits. Yes. Let's get Wormy out there. If I suggest something out of the norm, like Buffalo Chicken, you know, he, he just looks at that as, uh, as an obscenity, right? But I always force the issue. We're going to go Explosive Blobs AoE. That's going to help with the board as well. And the funny thing is, once he tries it, he loves it. Pretty much every time. It always it always happens like that. So this time, I'm going to bring the type of stuff you would need to make a BLT pizza. How ridiculous does that sound? Do we go wiggling worms and get a second worm? Or do we go chain off of three? Let's do the chaining. Because again, the chaining is what creates additional opportunities for even more stuff to fire off. That's at least what I'm thinking. It could be wrong, it's happened before. So, you know, items like bacon and lettuce and mayonnaise. I'm looking forward to the look on his face. And then the look when he's actually eating it. It's going to be outstanding. Don't worry, I'll report back. Let's do the chain lightning. I think that makes sense. And we're going to keep grabbing these beautiful blue experience pips. 
We'll let our little dudes do some work with the lasers. That's that's working really well. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Tranquilizing mask. That's really good. Okay, perfect. See, so then we've got those floating around us. We've got goo garlic. We've got our tiny little shooters. I am feeling really good about this run so far. Take a quick sip there while you can. Now you can set the game up where it'll do the targeting for you automatically. Uh, I actually, with this game, I enjoy aiming a little bit more. But if I just wanted to sit here and have a cup of coffee, you know, I'd probably adjust that. Well, we could make this a little bit stronger. Let's do that. I think the goo garlic felt just a, a little bit left out from all the other upgrades, so it, it feels fair. Right, we're plowing through these guys at a really good clip. Gotta watch out for the hordes. Sometimes they just spawn very close to you. Especially if you take out a big group, sometimes another group just shows up. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Perfect. All right, now we really need the multi-shot. That would be incredible. In terms of stuff just popping off. You've probably also noticed by now that rather than being a game where you've got just an infinite arena that goes and goes and goes, this is a closed-in, defined space. And I think it works well for this game. Uh, it certainly creates those moments of tension where there's not much else to go, you know. You're, you're just kind of trapped, and here comes the horde. All right, what do we want to do here? We want to go explosive? Yeah, let's increase the rate and the damage. Now, that is a health drop. As I said at the top, they're, they're pretty rare. We don't need it yet, so I'm just going to let it sit there. At some point, we will probably need that, but so far, the run's been going pretty well. You know, I'm thinking just additional damage right now. One of the other things I really like about this game is that it's very good about displaying the information for you at all times. Right above our health, we've got a counter for damage per second. I think they do a really good job of that. Your kills are right there. All the helpful stuff that you might want to know. Okay, I do really like the splinter. I know this is kind of a special one, but I really like the splinter. We're gonna go with that. Now we're seeing a lot of stuff popping off. bit blocked. I can't tell if the health 
disappeared or if we picked it up at some point. I just wasn't paying attention. Both possibilities are, are definitely there. All right, there's the health. And we just took a bunch of damage because the explody guys. And it is going to be tough to get in there and grab the health. I definitely want to go Thousand Needles. So we're going to. And I'm going to see if I can get up there. Up there and in there for the health. I think it's just covered right now. Trying to stay back from the explodey types. As I'm sure you can see, they're they're everywhere. All right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make our way towards that and hope for the best. Trying to decide, you know, let's go with the worms. It's totally covered again. And Mumsa has arrived, along with some elites. Good news, bad news, right? Can earn some stuff, but only have 1.8 health. So we'll grab what we can from the experience and see if we can make lemonade with lemons, right? And that is completely open right there. Let's go with the slash. Let's see if we can grab this. Come on, there it is. Okay. Well, I'm feeling good about that. Uh, let's go with another buff to Thousand Needles. I do definitely want to take out the elites as well here. So they're going to drop an opportunity to get some bonus capabilities. Mums is playing nice. I have upgraded my speed a little bit in the meta progression area, which is certainly helping right now. I think if not for that, we'd be having a tough time with old Mumsa. I think they're trying to tell us that this elite is going to drop some health, maybe. All right, there goes Mumsa. Let's focus on the elite. What are we going to get here? Ooh, a 4x. Black hole. Attacks have a 12.5% chance to implode upon impact, displacing and stunning enemies for one and a half seconds and dealing 12 damage. Wow. Okay, that's outstanding. We go with another Dizzy Ball. Two Dizzy's Ball that shoot enemies dealing four damage. Each shot has a 30% chance of ricocheting. Yeah, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. All right. Drop what you're gonna drop. We're gonna grab that in a moment. Take this guy out first. We'll grab both of these before the portal gets us. All right. Well. Not as much as we'd like. Maybe this one will go a little bit better. 
Ooh, 20% additional crit damage. Love that. Let's grab this experience laying around here. And I think we're ready to rock. Let's do it. Third zone. 14 minutes in. Oh, now they're coming. I'm still hoping that that multi-shot pops. That would be just wonderful right now. Now that loud sound that was made means that an elite stepped into the arena, as you can see. But it's menacing. It's menacing when you hear it. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, I thought we could slide through there. Oh, no. All right, I thought that was going to be a total breakdown. Let's see if we can get through here. Think we can? Yeah. All right. That might be a good way to kite these guys. Oh, they can't get through as fast. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Okay. And we've got a good set of abilities going here. Especially being able to slow these guys down every once in a while when they get hit. I'm just going to lead them the same way. Oh, they're getting smart. They're getting smart. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did you see how that horde just kind of doubled in on itself? That's what I was mentioning early, earlier about the spawn. Sometimes it just happens and all of a sudden the horde grows, like multiplies within itself. Holy moly. Okay, you know what? I, I wanna get rid of this guy. I don't want him chasing us anymore. And I really wanted that power up, but gonna have to wait that's all there are probably so many experience pips over there don't worry we'll, we'll come back we'll come back around if, if, if we can all right I think I think we just go with this max it out right okay we've got two health It's not a ton. But we're out here surviving. Now, let's see if we can nab any of that experience pool that I just imagine is laying around everywhere. There's part of it. 0.7 health, hey. Let's grab this. How about some health? Okay, I. you know what? I like million needles too. Right, we're gonna take our secret path. Uh oh. Oh boy, get out of the way, pal. You too, you too. Coming back around. Oh god, they just expanded. Yeah, 
it's just good fun, isn't it? I mean, look at how gigantic that thing is. Uh, the Goobies are just, they're, they're everywhere. They're, they're like wanting me to assimilate with the horde, the endless horde that just continues to multiply on itself and, and push them closer and closer. Very similar to the bats in Vampire Survivors, where they do that push and you go, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not ready, not ready, not ready. And they go, we don't care, we're coming. All right. Well... I am leaning towards the black hole. If we don't grab some health pretty soon, you know and I know what's going to happen. Oh boy. All right, I was, I was a little bit concerned there. Uh, we are coming up on the 20 minute mark here. Let's grab all of this. Look at them just spawning in gigantic groups. Okay, increase your attack speed by 10%. I think we're gonna do that. And get more volume of shots out there. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Hey folks, this is a game called Goobies. This is a very goo-filled Roguelite, Bullet Heaven, Horde Survival, all those words for these types of games. And it's just good fun. I mean, look at this. Still stuff popping off on the screen here. It's a fun game. Uh, you might be able to win a copy of the game. Be subscribed, leave a comment, and I will pick two of you on September 6th. I want to thank Lewis Pollock again, one of our awesome community members, for sending me a copy of Goobies and curse you for my new addiction. But thank you. It's it's mostly a thank you, but but partially a curse you. Uh, mostly thank you though. All right, everybody, let's do this again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because. That's what we do every time. And you know what? We'll give away a video game at least once a week. You know why we can do that? Because of you. Because of your support. That's what we're out here doing. All right. Be well out there. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.